More than two years ago, two black Louisvillians were killed because of their race. Today, the man arrested for the hate crime shootings at the Stoner, Stony Brook Kroger, Greg Bush, pleaded guilty to federal hate crime charges. The case is now over. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Doug Prophet. It has been a long legal road for the families, and Rose McBride has more in our top story tonight. During today's hearing, Gregory Bush referenced the voices in his head at the time he committed the crimes. I felt like as much as they let him say, he still never actually said that I am sorry that the voices told me to kill your sister. Samuela Gathright has now spent two and a half years without her sister, Vicki Jones. She saw Gregory Bush sentenced to life in prison in a Kentucky state courtroom for killing Jones and Maurice Stollard. Thursday, Bush pleaded guilty to six federal charges. I woke up with it on my mind and it took a lot for me to come here today. When asked by the judge whether he killed Stollard and Jones because they were black, Bush hesitated to answer, saying instead he heard voices in his head at the time. But ultimately, he said yes. Bush claimed he was in a different mental state Thursday than at the time of the crimes. The judge ruled that he understood the proceedings, but Gathright still wants to hear some sense of remorse for taking her sister's life. I do want him to apologize because I think of this every single day, all day. Bush will be sentenced June 24th. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Rose McBride.